Okay, welcome everybody to this new Facebook Live edition, which is a very special because now we are doing a joint uh, program with the Bay Island Reef Restoration. And I have here Trip Funderborg, manager of the Bay Island Reef Restoration. And together we're going to be talking about the Reef Restoration course. So Trip, can you please introduce yourself? Yeah, thanks uh, Fabio for hosting this and for uh, inviting me to talk about the uh, uh, PADI distinct specialty course called the Bay Islands Reef Restoration Diver course. So do you want Great. me to go to the background or you go? Yeah. Okay, great. So we're going to be talking about this course. And just before we start, just remember that we're doing these Facebook Lives to use the time that we are locked down efficiently and share with you those courses that might be of your interest when you are ready to come down to Roatan. So in this case, we're going to be talking about the Reef Restoration course that is a very, not only interesting, but useful and uh, uh, let's say ecologically important course because you're going to be contributing to the restoration of the reef here in the Bay Islands. So let's get started and I want to ask you Trip first before uh, we get into the, the, the course itself. Uh, can you please give us an update of, of what's happening with the corals around the globe? So um, coral reefs around the, the world, around the globe, are under stress. Uh, the, the Caribbean has especially been impacted by multiple synergistic stressors we talk about. Uh, in the Caribbean or, uh, you know, globally, we've had uh, climate change, which is making the water warmer, which is leading to more uh, coral bleaching events, which makes it hard for the corals to eat and grow and reproduce and, and puts them at stress and susceptible to more diseases. We've had a loss of uh, herbivores, especially in the Caribbean, the algae eaters. So that a lot of reefs have a competition between coral and algae. We've gotten uh, too much uh, pollution due to deforestation, uh, cutting down the mangroves, cutting down the seagra seagrasses, uh, we're, we're putting too much pollution and nutrients onto coral reefs. There's too much uh, eutrophication, too much uh, nitrogen in the reefs. The reefs, the corals like crystal clear water so the sun's rays can, can hit them and feed their symbiotic algae. So we want to keep the water clean and clear. So uh, coral reefs are a very fragile ecosystem, a very important ecosystem, and they're under threat globally. Uh, they're, Caribbean, unfortunately, has led the, led the world in, uh, in, in the loss of some coral reefs. We had a couple of disease epidemics that killed our primary herbivore in 1983. We lost our long-spined black sea urchin. That was the primary algae eater. And we've got a proliferation of uh, fleshy macroalgae. We, we desperately need to protect our herbivores like the parrotfish. We also had a disease called uh, white band disease in the 70s and 80s that killed two uh, very important uh, uh, reef building species. Two of the three most important species on the reef were elkhorn and staghorn corals. And I guess that's a good segue because those are the two corals that we're gonna be working on uh, during the uh, Bay Islands Reef Restoration Diver course. We are growing elkhorn and staghorn in our nursery. If, if you would uh, say to, to the people that is watching this uh, uh, seminar, why are reef important? Because many people don't understand what, why this ecosystem is so important. Right. right? Uh, what yeah, would be the um, main three or four attributes that you would say make the reef as important as we know they are? Right, so reefs are beautiful, but they have important ecosystem services for the ocean. Uh, we'll talk about this during the class in more detail, but um, reefs provide uh, protection from storm and waves. I think that they say that 97% of wave energy is diminished by a uh, uh, healthy coral reef. Um, coral reefs are one-tenth of 1% 1 of the ocean floor, and 25% of all marine life spends part of their life cycle on the coral reef. So they're vital nursery grounds for fish and all kinds of marine life. Uh, they provide uh, innumerable um, millions and millions of jobs for, for people in tropical regions through tourism and fishing. Uh, so coral reefs are, are vital. We are finding they, they 
have some properties that may improve medicine. Uh, there's just, uh, uh, and they're just uh, beautiful ecosystems that we should treasure and, and maintain for our children. And, you know, we've lost up to 30 to 50% of our coral reefs globally. So it's important to become educated and to learn what steps we can take to uh, conserve and, and restore our coral reefs. That's right, and as, as I understand, uh, that's the main objective of the Bay Island Reef Restoration course, right? To try and help to contribute restoring the reef that has had all of these uh, problems, diseases, impacts of human activities, uh, pollution, and many other uh, activities or impacts are affecting actually the reef. So, um, why let's let's get into the course why did you decide to write a course um a specialty course for restoring the reefs and why in the bay islands okay so um there's a lot of people that are very curious about you know what happened to our coral reefs what can we do to fix them uh, how do we get involved and i wanted to have a we wanted to have a uh, a more standardized and official course. And this is a course that has been endorsed and approved by PADI. So we have that seal of approval and we do provide a um, PADI certification card and it counts as one of your uh, adventure dives toward your master scuba diver. So this is, uh, some people are interested in, in, in moving towards master scuba divers. So this is one of the courses that gets you there. Uh, we also would like to have trained volunteers. So uh, having a, standardized uh, course that provides all the background about coral ecology and the stressors on the reef and then more information about how we maintain our trees and how we plant the coral. And then the best part is we get you to actually help us. Um, so this is a, a bit of a selfish course that, that, that we train you to become our coworkers and our assistants as we go um, get more hands involved in coral restoration. And you know, the key element of this is we want you to become excited about coral conservation and coral restoration. We want to pique your interest in what we can do to conserve our ocean, what we can do to make our planet more healthy. So there's a lot of different goals for this course. And another one is um, you know, Subway Water Sports and uh, Turquoise Bay Resort have been very generous in paying for a lot of the trees and, and salaries for me and gasoline and captains and this coral restoration course, we need to raise revenues to help pay for the expansion of our course and to make it, uh, we're, really, we're really focused on trying to figure out how for-profit resort tourism industry can support conservation. We want to sort of have this win-win situation where ecotourists learn about corals, they help support the, the program financially, and uh, we, we spread education and we spread economic opportunity to, to, to uh, dive to instructors and to dive masters who can be involved in coral gardening and, and helping to assist our guests as they learn about coral. So there's a lot of different reasons why we have this course. Uh, and I uh, hope some of those reasons are attractive to some folks who would like to come down and learn and, and take our coral restoration distinctive specialty course. Great, and it's also a good, a good uh, example of how to build a partnership uh, between different enterprises related to tourism. In this case, as you mentioned, Subway Water Sport, Turquoise uh, Bay Resort, with the Bay Island Reef Restoration, right? And the Rotan Dive Academy working all together to try not only to restore the reef, which is the ultimate objective, but also to train people to make people more aware of the situation, of what's happening, and also get uh, hands on, right? This is something that you don't get anywhere else, or there is a, a couple of places, but there is not that many places where you can go and actually work on restoring the corals. We have been putting a lot of effort on growing the corals on those trees. And then when we get people coming down to get certified and help, they not only help with the, the cleaning and maintaining of the trees, but also out planting the, the corals uh, out in healthy reefs, in natural reefs. So uh, this is a very good way of learning and having the hands-on, the actual conservation activities. Uh, who can get certified in this course, Trip? Can you let us know what are the requirements and who can uh, become part of, of the training course? Sure, so um, our, our program standards are um, 
relatively friendly. Uh, we want you to be a PADI uh, open water scuba, scuba diver. So you are certified as an open water diver. Um, we would like you to be at least 12 years old. That's our program uh, requirement. And the maximum depth for the dive is 60 feet. Our nursery is about 25 feet and we plant coral around 30 feet. So depth is not a uh, terrible detriment or a, a hurdle on this course. We're gonna be shallow. And um, we have a maximum of eight students in a class. And usually we'll have a dive master accompanying us. So those are the broad parameters of who can participate. So we usually offer the course to, um, to guests at Turquoise Bay Resort and at Mayan Princess Resort. If you're not staying at this resort, would like to come take the class, we can make that available for you too. We also provide this class to all the um, Subway Water Sports Dive Master and Roatan Dive Academy Dive Master students. So when you come uh, do your Dive Master training with uh, Fabio and, and Lieber and Peter at uh, Subway Water Sports and Roatan Dive Academy, we're gonna integrate you into our coral restoration program and you're going to uh, be provided this course uh, for free as part of your dive master. You'll get certified as a Bay Islands Reef Restoration Diver. And you're also going to help me when I teach the course uh, to uh, help teach the guests and help them plant coral. And a lot of, uh, a lot of our dive masters become uh, real experts and some have gone on to work in coral restoration after, after working with us for several months uh, as a dive master and, and in helping us teach this uh, Coral restoration class. That, that's great. Um, and you were talking now about the different locations in which the, the Bay Island Reef Restoration uh, Initiative have uh, uh, trees, right? So okay. have nurseries and are growing trees. Can you go into more details of uh, how many trees you have in what location so people can understand how big the project is and why do we need that much of, of, of hands helping uh, clean and outplant the corals? Great. So um, we have two nursery locations. One nursery is in Turquoise Channel, which is on the, the north side of Roatan, and it's a, very close to Turquoise Bay Resort. Uh, it's behind the reef, and it's a bit protected from the northerly storms. And we have 20 trees in that, uh, in that channel. Um, these trees can each hold up to 60. And if we really crowd them, we can put 100 corals on a tree. So uh, we also have um, 10 trees in West Bay, which is on the uh, heavily touristed side of the island, uh, down in the, the protected kind of side of the island uh, in West Bay Beach, uh, at a, a dive site called Sequest Deep. And those are relatively new trees. They've been there about a year. Um, we have 10 trees in uh, West Bay at Sequest Deep, and those are being uh, managed and looked after by the Mayan Princess and Mayan Diver Resort. And at the Turquoise Bay, it's the Subway Water Sports and Turquoise Bay Resort guests. So I usually give a talk to the, the guests of Turquoise Bay on a Sunday, and then maybe a Monday we go talk to the guests at Mayan Princess and, and try to teach them a little bit about coral and, and get them interested in participating in the distinctive specialty or to help us uh, clean trees and a more informal adventure dive. Okay, now that you're talking about the content of the course, um, as, as I understand, but to let people that is watching this uh, live, this uh, seminar, understand what's the course about. So uh, the course has a theory component and then you do two dives. Can you uh, describe uh, the outlines, the main topics that you covered in the theory session and then what's on dive one and what's on dive two so people can understand what's the course about? Yeah, so um, similar to what uh, your questions were today, we start off the course with a, a bit of background about the importance of coral reefs. We talk a little bit about coral ecology and coral biology. Uh, we talk about the stressors that are impacting coral reefs around the planet. And uh, then we go into a description of, of the diving activities we're gonna do that day. So we'll have two dives as part of the course. The first dive will be to the coral nursery and we will teach you how to use the brushes and the scrapers to clean our coral trees and to keep algae off the coral. Uh, we'll teach you about some of the diseases you may see on coral, hopefully not much, and how we maintain and, and uh, get rid of those diseases that don't spread around the nursery. And then we will uh, 
in the course we're going to talk about uh, give you an explanation of how we outplant the corals. So a little theory about you know, how we pick uh, the, the genotypes we're going to outplant and, and in what part of the reef we're going to outplant them and then we'll teach you how we use these uh, brick hammers to knock the algae off the reef and how to glue the corals to the reef using the Tupac marine epoxy. We will practice with a with a mini tree that's a sort of a facsimile of our coral trees and we'll teach you how to uh, clean the trees clean the mini tree so when you get to the water it will be uh, it won't it will be familiar to you and then we practice with some play-doh which is very similar to the uh, coral epoxy and uh, I'll demonstrate how to plant some coral and you'll do do that too that's some of our um, that that's the the main parts of the course is the theory and then this, the description of the two dives one dive to to clean the trees and the second dive to plant coral great great good description and very interesting course so for uh, all of you willing to come down to Roatan and do more than just come and, and take photos and enjoy diving and help uh, restore the reef, this is a, a very interesting uh, initiative and a course to get certified on when you have the chance to travel and come down to Roatan. But as, as Trip was mentioning uh, before, um, sustaining and, and running a program like this uh, requires lots of people and requires lots of, of, of investment, let's say, and, and resources. We need a boat, we need fuel, we need a captain, we need to go several times a week to the nursery cleaning, we need epoxy, we need hammers, we need scrapers, and many more materials. So for that reason is why the Bay Island Reef Restoration has um, put out a campaign on GoFundMe. Can, can you, Trip, let us know what's the GoFundMe campaign objectives and where they can find the link to the GoFundMe in the case there is some people interested in uh, contributing to, to the GoFundMe campaign that you have on. Yeah, so um, Turquoise Bay has been very uh, generous in, in funding this program, but they have suggested that the program needs to help provide some funding. Uh, they can't just subsidize this course for this uh, project forever. So we needed to raise money to repair a boat and to help pay for some of the salaries. And so we initiated a GoFundMe campaign, I think around two years ago, and we were successful in hitting our goal of raising $15,000. Um, that goes a long way and uh, in a third world country. So that just been, shows good faith that, uh, that we're gonna raise money to help uh, cover some of the costs of our program. And then during this pandemic, uh, you know, we make money when when guests take the, the take the course, or when we have students that are in our dive master program, or other guests of the resort who come and, and take our adventure dives to see the coral nursery. Right now, we have no tourists, and we have very uh, limited uh, mechanism to to pay the salary of Peter, who's uh, who's remained in in Turquoise Bay to help make sure our coral nursery is uh, staying clean and our corals are staying healthy. So we have, um, we have increased the goal for our GoFundMe campaign. So if you will Google GoFundMe and Bay Islands Reef Restoration, you can find the GoFundMe campaign. Um, Fabio can provide the link to you. Uh, so that's, uh, we encourage if you have, uh, have the ability and we would greatly appreciate any support so that we can continue our program during this, during this economic uh, lockdown that has been caused by the uh, global pandemic. Uh, we're hoping that uh, you know vaccines are coming and the island of Roatan will be open to tourists soon. We know that uh, they're letting some planes come in here at the end of August so hopefully we'll get tourism back rolling again but in the meantime we really could use the support for the GoFundMe campaign. Okay so as you can see down here on the screen uh, we have the link for the GoFundMe campaign and you can easily find it as, as Trip was saying, Google GoFundMe and then search for Bay Island Reef Restoration or use the link that, that we are providing down here. Excellent. Another initiative that is going to come out soon uh, is the Adopt a Tree campaign for the uh, Bay Island Reef Restoration, which is another way in which uh, people can uh, get involved in the long term, right? It's not just funding once or coming down and helping one dive or two dives or taking the course, but is uh, making a, a contribution that is going to allow us to establish more trees and, and grow more corals. Can you go into more details on how the campaign works 
uh, what are the objectives of the Adopt a Tree campaign and when the campaign is going to be launched? Yeah, so those are all good questions, Fabio. And, you know, we're looking at creative ways to uh, encourage support for the program. And, uh, you know, the trees are, are some of the, the bigger costs for the program. So um, we have a, a group of uh, a student group from Central Methodist University who have given uh, money. And so they have adopted one of our trees. And we have a, a tag on the tree that talks about, that, that indicates this tree was supported by Central Methodist University. So we're going to expand on that. This is a program that's been uh, used in other coral restoration projects to adopt a tree, maybe ad adopt an outplant site. And we hope this program will be announced soon. So stay tuned on Facebook. Uh, so this is a make a great gift idea for Christmas if you would like to you know, have uh, one of your relatives uh, help pay for a, a tree or help pay for some outplanting of outplanted coral. We can send you a picture of your tree and we'll have a, a name to indicate that you're a supporter that'll be uh, on the tree for all the other divers to see. So stay tuned, that'll be announced on Facebook in a short while and uh, hopefully it will be going full steam for the, for the holiday the gift giving season. Yeah, perfect. And also there, there is going to be probably some other uh, things going on as we were talking before. Uh, we need to start a program on monitoring population of fish, especially herbivorous fish, because we have seen that industrial fisheries are having an impact in different species of herbivorous fish and different, um, let's say, key species of the trophic chain around the reefs. So we want to start not only uh, measuring the, the survival rate of the, of the corals we outplant, but also understanding what's happening with the community of fish and different organisms that coexist in the same reef where we are outplanting the corals, when we are restoring the reef, right? So there is a lot more things that are going to happen. Uh, and so you, if you're interested, stay tuned on, on the Bay Island Reef Restoration Facebook page, on Subway Water Sport Facebook page, or on the Roatan Dive Academy Facebook page, because we're going to put in, be putting out different um, uh, options, alternatives, and campaigns as well. And as, as Trip was saying, there is another good way of, 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 of taking, getting certified with the Bay Island Reef Restoration, which is doing bundle with different courses. Dive master uh, interns, for example, when they come taking the dive master course with Subway Water Sports and Roatan Dive Academy, they usually uh, are required to go and help with the cleaning of the nursery without planting corals. So they learn all the process of restoring the reef and contributing to this uh, incredible program. But there is also other courses that we have talked in different um, Facebook lives before, like the underwater naturalist course and the fish identification course or uh, the peak performance buoyancy as, as a, a key uh, skill that people should have to be able to uh, outplant corals or to identify fish or to do monitoring of, of fish. So we usually do bundles of different courses according to the interest of the, the people that is coming down here. So uh, Trip, can you, uh, can you let us know and, and, and just give us a, a, a wide and broad idea of how Dive Master interns get involved into, into the, uh, uh, the Bay Island Reef Restoration. I know you mentioned it before, but just to refresh, so those, those people watching this seminar that are interested in taking the Dive Master and also making a difference, contributing to the restoration of the reef, can understand what's going to happen during their uh, Dive Master course. Right. So, um uh, I think a lot of people preach green or talk about uh, ecotourism, but you know we have a we have a thriving coral nursery program, and you can do your dive master anywhere in the Caribbean. Where is a patty shop that offers it? But in our course, is a differentiator is we immerse you in coral restoration. So uh, I've talked to the hundred dive masters who participated in the Subway Water Sports program over the past three years. And uh, approximately 90% has said they, the key differentiator for choosing a place to go was that we have coral restoration. So uh, we take that seriously. And every week, the uh, dive masters are invited to attend the coral talk. All the, the dive masters participate in the Patty Aware Coral uh, Conservation course and the Patty Distinctive Specialty course. Um, and whenever we go out to the, to the nursery to do work. We include our dive masters. 
sometimes they have to do their skills in the pool and we have to juggle the schedule, but everyone who takes a six week or two month dive master course is gonna be given the opportunity to participate in cleaning trees and planting coral. And I really, um, it's hard to quantify, but uh, I've really heard a lot of great satisfaction and a lot of stories from dive masters who really, really love the coral program. I mean, right in this picture right here, there's a, two of our favorite dive masters, Nina and uh, Rebecca. And Nina is a, a PhD marine biology student, and Rebecca has uh, was loved the program so much she she got a job working for the Coral Restoration Foundation in uh, Key Largo, largely based on her experience working for the Coral Restoration Program. We have ten trees that we need to install, so as soon as uh, as soon as the flights come back and our dive masters come back, we're going to have the the fun opportunity to construct some new nurseries. And that includes uh, you know, gathering the coral and installing the coral in the nursery trees. Uh, we're also looking at different techniques that might be more effective and uh, maybe um, building some tables outside the reef where we can grow elkhorn coral, which may do better on, on tables than in the trees. Uh, we're also studying very hard about how we're gonna improve the, the herbivory, the, the uh, algae eaters on the reef. We wanna bring back the sea urchin. So, our friend Peter has done a, a real uh, extensive study about potential uh, conservation projects to bring back the sea urchin. So we've got a really goal, good broad uh, goals for the future, and we hope that uh, we're going to include our dive masters in all of that and help, hope, them, hope they will learn coral identification and fish identification and help us uh, start a uh, monitoring, a long-term monitoring program, as well as participate in coral restoration. So we're just itching to get back in the water and hopefully uh, this pandemic will run its course and we'll have some vaccines and therapeutics uh, very soon. So we can all get back to doing what we love and growing more coral and, and teaching more uh, distinctive specialty courses to our guests and, and visitors to, to Roatan. Hey, exactly, and thank you Trip, for, for this uh, seminar and sharing uh, what the, the Bay Island Reef Restoration course is about. For those of you interested, uh, you can see here uh, the, the, the two email addresses. You can write uh, an email to TRIP on the address you can see below the Re Bay Island Reef Restoration logo, and you can send those an email to Roatan Dive Academy on the email that you can see down there uh, below the logo. So we can uh, be in contact or we can just, uh, you know, uh, answer any of the questions you may have after this presentation. So thank you, Trip, again for uh, the time and sharing all these knowledge and information yep. in this um, seminar. Yes. Great. Um, one last thing. Another way you can support the program is, is to, um, we have some new swag. We have some new shirts and hats that are uh, super cool. So um, Fabio can provide you with the uh, link to, the, to our online store. Um, it has two different styles. One is with our logo and one is with a very cool uh, logo created by a, a student from Central Methodist University that shows the, the continents of the world made out of coral and divers. And uh, so there's um, a lot of really cool tank tops and t-shirts and, and some of those revenues will help pay for our coral restoration course. So um, once again, I, Fabio will give you the link down there and hopefully if you we need a new hat or a new t-shirt you can you can buy a t-shirt and support our program so hey, great hopefully when we have flights coming back we can get some down here in Roatan so the people that uh, we are here in Roatan we can get some as well so we can wear them so yeah. um, thank you for all of, of you trip thank you and, and all of you watching this seminar remember these seminars and this uh, video is going to be hanging on the YouTube channel on the Facebook page and you can send us any uh, questions that you may have to the emails that we have shown. And hope, hopefully we can uh, have a, a new seminar soon, maybe next week on a different topic. So stay tuned to our two Facebook pages, the Bay Island Reef Restoration and the Royal Pan Dive Academy for more seminars to come in the future. So thank you again and see you thank next you, time. Thank you, Fabio. Great job, my friend. Appreciate thank you. Thank you, Drip. Thank you. See you. <clears throat>